Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. Typically, my broadcasts are about the mayhem that people cause on other people's lifestyles. What I had planned to do was talk about the magic of God and how the magic of God is still ever-present in our lives and our surrounding areas of our life, the space between the lines of our life. In my work called Soul Keepers, the Soul Strings of Our Life, I talk about the key relationships of our life from the perspective of the King James Bible predominantly. I also talk about how some of the Bible has been bastardized by the Christian community and the religious right to try to harm people. You see, it's only a religious man that wants to steal from someone is not true. But there are people that want to lord over me and you. The people that want to lord over our lives usually have done something immoral or illegal to us. They've probably stolen something from us. They've taken our paperwork. They've taken our property. They've taken our possessions. They've taken our rights to everything we own. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth is God makes all people. It is said this from millennium in the Bible. And yet we have people that want to say that I am not of God or you're not of God. And what I know is that people do have the ability to be of God. People do have the ability to live in the house of the Lord every day. But too many people are selfish is true, and too many people don't know what to do is also true. You see, when we're faced with challenge, the first thing we should do is pray. When we don't do things right, the first thing we should do is pray. And after that, we should follow the guidelines of the good book that says, when you have a discord with someone in life, you go to that person in love and in light, and you work it through. If that fails to do that, then you reach out to someone who is an accomplice, not at all, but someone who that person regards, most of all, to see if they can help you to fix that situation. But in life, we know that there are men who want to abuse women. We know that there are men that want to have something that they didn't earn. We know that there are new technologies, new audio technologies, new science technologies, new, I don't know, clairvoyant technologies, not really, but we have people who know what the Lord wants of them. The problem is that someone else will interact, interfere, and help them avoid what God is asking them to hold dear. You see, what you hold dear in life is not only what you get played in life, but it's how you get paid in life. And in my life, I don't work in the 9 to 5. I literally work when I get time and when I have the energy to do so. That is the value of the entrepreneurial life, the small business life, and every other aspect that keeps America flowing is those people in the small business realm, the microscopic business realm. We are the people that fuel America. We are the people that feed America. We are the people of restaurants, the people of grocery stores, and the people who know what God in heaven can do and more.